If you think Muslim women can't kick it when it comes to sport, then clearly you haven't met Khadija Safari. I am a black belt in Muay Thai and kickboxing. Um, I've been training for 14 years and been teaching for seven years. Khadija runs women-only martial arts sessions at her local boxing club. Three, two, one more, one more, one more. Come on, back up. Yeah. Initially, I started my own martial arts club because I chose to become Muslim and I wanted to train in the women's only environment and there wasn't anything available. I thought it can't just be me that, that is looking for this. I think there are a lot of things that prevent Muslim women from doing sport, especially if they're women that choose to cover. If it's an environment where there's gonna be a lot of men around and you want to train hard, you know, a woman maybe might not feel comfortable, especially martial arts, it's yeah, a combat nice. sport. Now, nice, good, bounce off it, bounce. So, high kick, yeah, that's it. Bounce. Khadija also has to fight against a few preconceptions. I think a lot of people have the perception that Muslim women sit at home, cook, clean, have lots of kids, don't leave the house. The reaction that I get from people that don't know what I do as a profession when they find out is often hilarious. Mainly because they normally do a double take at me. And they're like, oh, okay. And they change the way they're talking to you. Hook. I think it's unexpected, like wearing a hijab, that that's what a woman does. You're going to do one right cross and then you're going to step forward with the right foot and throw it. <laughs> okay? Self-defence is actually one of the things that we are told in our religion is a good thing to learn. And actually, years ago, at the time of our prophet, peace be upon him, two women were on the front line, they're fighting. So you grab it, okay, but I'm trying to pull it a little bit. Look, it puts her off balance. And Khadija feels her faith and her sport go perfectly together. I think martial arts completely benefits my faith because we're taught to be healthy, to look after our body, not to do anything which causes it harm, not to have anything that's toxic for the body. And what better way than keeping fit, faith and fitness go hand in hand. And thanks to Khadija, hundreds of women have taken up martial arts. Once I saw there was a need for it, that just encouraged me more because these women felt empowered by it, they were enjoying it, they'd been looking for it. And it wasn't just Muslim women, it was women from different faiths, different backgrounds not only coming together, but having the opportunity to learn about each other. So it's, it's been a really beautiful journey. I absolutely love my job. Like, I don't think, there's not a day where I think, oh, I don't want to go to work today. <laughs> <laughs>